Hey everybody, it's uh, April 13, 2017, and this is daily vlog number 348. And how the heck is everybody today? I really want to know. Give me a shout out down there in the comment section. Tell me what's going on. Um, today I have five stories to tell you about today. So let's just get to it. <clears throat> First one here is Black Muslim Judge a New York court trailblazer found dead. Uh, the first black woman Muslim judge in New York was uh, found dead uh, in the Hudson River. Um, she had been missing and uh, they found her um, body in the river. Now, um, when they pulled her out, there were no signs of uh, trauma to the body, no signs of foul play. So right now they're thinking that uh, this is a suicide. Um, but, you know, I don't know. There's good, Obviously there'll be more investigation and autopsy and everything like that, but um, it seems unusual that a successful judge would just uh, up and kill herself like that, but... Uh, you know, people have all kinds of problems. Uh, there may have been mental issues that nobody knew about. So we'll keep watching that story and uh, see what develops on it. Next one here is how one family made almost $15,000 after getting bumped from a short domestic flight. Now this headline is a little bit misleading. The uh, 15000 is in Australian dollars. In U.S. dollars, it comes to like 11000 But this travel journalist and her family, her husband and uh, one child, were traveling from um, New York to Florida. And they uh, had got on their flight. They were going for a weekend to visit family. And they got on their flight, and then the people from Delta Airlines uh, asked if uh, anybody would mind being bumped from the flight, and they... Uh, started with giving him four hundred dollars and then it went up to eight and then I think it went up to nine and then her husband asked her to consider taking the deal so when they got up to uh, one thousand three hundred fifty dollars they took it so they got one thousand three hundred dollar one thousand three hundred fifty dollars a piece for each ticket and when they left the plane uh, the airline also offered to put them up in a hotel and uh, provide them dinner and a taxi. They declined the hotel room because they live nearby, so but they did uh, take the dinner, which was fifteen dollars maximum per person, and the taxi ride for fifty dollars. So then the next time they went to the airport to get on their plane, uh, again the flight. Uh, personnel was asking for volunteers to be bumped off of the flight so um, when they got up to $1,300 uh, the family again took the deal so this time they, they've made $1,300 so after that you know it had been a couple of days already and they were just kind of tired, and they just decided to cancel their trip altogether and just go back home. So they went to the, the gate agent, and they said that they'd be willing to turn in their uh, tickets. And uh, the gate agents accepted that, and they gave them $1,000 apiece for each ticket. So they made almost 1100 well, they did make $1,100 on this deal. And in the article there, it says that a lot of people today are <laughs> almost making a living doing this, um, <clears throat> taking the deals for being bumped off of a flight. So, you know, that gets me thinking maybe that's part of the reason why these airlines are having such a problem because they're paying out all this money for people that uh, are getting bumped off flights and then putting up in hotel rooms and buying them dinner and taxi rides besides. So, you know, come on. That's quite a bit of money. Uh, $1,300 is four times the amount of a one-way ticket. 
So for doing this, they're shelling out quite a, quite a bit of money with refunds of that nature and then motel rooms and dinner, taxi. Uh, so maybe that's why our ticket prices are so high. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, you can take a look at the article. It's uh, on my Google Plus page and a link to my page is down in the description. So all the articles that I talk about today will be on my Google Plus page and you can take a look at those at your leisure. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think about this? Um, do you think that's why our ticket prices are so high for one reason? Because they're shelling out all this money to bumping people? Let me know what's thick. Uh, then, uh, next story here is Black Lives Matter releases video of police dragging man from his car and kicking him in the face. Well, when this video starts out, one officer has pulled the man out of the car and he's on the ground. And it appeared that the guy was already handcuffed. He had his hands behind his back anyway, and he was rolling around on the ground. And it looked like to me maybe the officer there had kicked him. But then another officer comes running up into the field of view, and when he gets to the man, you can clearly see this officer kick the guy in the head. Okay, there's no doubt about that one. The second officer that ran up in this video kicked the guy in the head when he was cuffed and on the ground. <laughs> Man, I don't know what the heck's going on here, but... More and more and more you see this, but, you know, to be fair, really, you only see... They only put stuff on the news and the internet like this when cops are doing bad things, but that hardly anything goes up when a cop does a good job, so uh, we're kind of getting a, a distorted view. I mean, there's way more good cops than there are bad cops, really. Uh, I know. Um, my family was uh, in a law enforcement background, and um, uh, I know that there's more good cops than there is bad cops, but when you show these videos and these stories like this, it kind of gives all cops a bad name, and it makes people distrustful of police officers when when things like this come up. So I don't know what to do. You know, um, somebody's going to have to start cracking down on the bad cops, I guess, before things really get out of hand because uh, they're, they're given the wrong impression of, of police officers. But that's just my opinion. So what do you guys think? Give me a shot. Let me know. <clears throat> and then um, more troubles for uh, United Airlines here. Drunk harassed New York mom on flight, but United kept booze flowing, reports say. Um, Reportedly, this woman was on a United flight, and this man came on board the plane drunk, and he had to be helped to a seat by uh, two of the flight personnel, and when he sat down, he started uh, verbally harassing this woman uh, sexually, and uh, when she complained, they did nothing about it. So she's pretty upset with United Airlines now as well. Um, so, and I just saw another article today where the doctor that was pulled off the plane, uh, people are saying that he's got a pretty good case for a lawsuit. So we'll probably see that in the works here in the future. So yeah, yeah United's problems are probably only just getting started. Uh, so I guess. Uh, I would say if you're wise, you would stay away from United for a while, at least for a while. Uh, and then the next story here is how much it costs ICE to deport an undocumented immigrant. Well, in this article, it says it uh, costs about um, $11,000 to deport an immigrant. And in this article, it's saying that Trump wants to deport 
uh, up to three million immigrants. Now, when he was uh, on his campaign, he was saying eleven million, and I had seen an article where it said uh, there were almost twenty million undocumented immigrants in the country. So, the the estimate for the deportation has been revised to up to three million, but still, at uh, eleven thousand dollars per person and three million people um, deported that's uh, 33 billion dollars a year 33 billion dollars a year that the taxpayers are paying now uh, if it turned out that 11 million people were actually deported that would be 121 billion dollars a year that uh, taxpayers were paying for to uh, deport immigrants. Now, like I've said before, if there are some immigrants that have been convicted of felonies, and yeah, if you're convicted of a felony and you're here illegally, you need to go. <laughs> okay? Um, that's just the way it is because there are, there are some people, you know, they get into misdemeanors, uh, you know, they serve their time, and that's good, but if you got a felony on your record, you need to go. But anyway, if they deport these people, you know, what's going to happen with our economy? Because most of these people are working, and they are paying taxes, and they're doing more agricultural jobs, uh, like harvesting and planting, so what's going to happen when it comes time to harvest the crops and you've deported, uh, let's just say, 3 million to 11 million people that were doing these jobs that uh, aren't getting done now? Um, I'd say a lot of crops might just rot in the field, and because of that, uh, food prices would go up. So I don't know. I don't know what, what to say what to do. That's just the world we live in now, I guess. But anyway, everybody, um, let me know what you think about these stories. Uh, if you uh, are on the side of my opinion, let me know. And if not, let me know that too. If you think I'm wrong, crazy, insane, yeah, tell me. I can take criticism. Um, but anyway, that's it for today. And if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And also, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, tell your friends and family about my channel and my videos. And if you missed yesterday's vlog, just click on the image there. And also, uh, check out my social media sites, G+, Facebook, and Twitter. And take a look at my website, the Chuck Baker homepage at chuckbaker.org. Till tomorrow, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.